is the lowest, uh, cheapest concert left here in Pangalao. <laughs> in Pangalao? Yeah. yeah. On the island of Pangalao? Wait, like, say that again. Mm -hmm. On the island of Pangalao, this is yeah, the cheapest. Yeah, this is the cheapest. 2.5 million. Yeah. Okay, we're looking at a house here in Pang Wow. Uh, we are at a dive site here. And we've got uh, divers right here. We just walked uh, all of us about a five minute walk down here from this house. And it's high tide right now. Uh, I'll get some footage on the way back, get an idea of where we're at. Okay. Yeah. Barbed wire. Okay, so here we are. Um, honey, what is the name of this here? Tagnan. Tagnan. Tagnan, the beach is called Tagnan. Oh, anyways. Anyways. It's the, the, the barangay is Tagnan. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, anyways, it's in uh, north central uh, Panglao here. And it's very rocky. This reminds me of uh, the land in Jamaica. Very, very rocky and limestone, uh, looks like, formation here. So we're going to see how long it takes to get back down this path to this house. And we'll take a look at the house. Now they told me that they're putting in a golf course across the street here and other developments in this area that a large landowner has bought this. Uh, I'm not sure how you could do a golf course on this kind of craggle, but that's what they said. And so here is, uh, here's the house now. And um, you have to drive down this uh, road here for about two blocks. But here we are. Now the original price on this was 3.5 million. Uh, it's been on the market for six months. That's a little over my budget. But I tell you, it's, it's got plenty of room in there. The inevitable rooster. mentioned something about a three meter right of way <clears throat> hey we can we can mow this we'll, we'll mow this down real quick interesting oh we never would have found it from a road honey I'll tell you that much wow Okay. And this one is asking 2.5 million, right? Is that it? Yes. Oh, okay. So you got a property marker right here. Now you can build your dwarf coconut. Yes, I could do. <laughs> Yes, dear. Yes, I can. All right. Where, where was the other one then? Where's the other? Where's the other marker down that way? There's another marker there. All right. We're gonna find the other marker here. Oh, okay. Here's a marker. All right. So, so I guess we go straight back here. Okay, we're waiting for the key here, so we're taking a look around the back. 
What it looks like to me is that it's uh, kind of an unfinished little place here. But I must say it's pretty quiet here and it's just down the street from that other one. So the beach is not far away. Okay, all right. Yeah, so it's limestone. Somehow bananas grow here. You haven't heard a rooster yet. That's good. No rooster. No dog. Okay, so they have water and power is, called, is going here? Yes, there is uh, electricity and water. Okay. No All right. And this was, it was 2.5 million, right? Yes. Okay. And how long has this one been for sale? Uh, about uh, December, I think December. Okay. The owner, this one is police? Yeah. I think. Police. Police. The police. I have six left. Song by Wait. Sting. Hot peppers? Is that what that is? <laughs> you better not touch your eyes now. Let me tell you something, pal. <laughs> yeah, you better throw them out. This is the lowest, uh, cheapest fossil lot here in Panglao. In Peng Wow. Yeah. On the island of Peng Wow. Wait, like, say that again. On the island of Peng Wow. This is yeah, the cheapest. Yeah, this is the cheapest. 2.5 million. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So you can see. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. 500 yeah. square meter to 300 square meter. It will going to be 8 to 12 okay. million. But <laughs> that's just not like this. Yeah. Uh, the now house. this, you could make a driveway down this yeah. that way, right? Yeah, 3 meters, sir. The right of way is 3 meters. Okay. Just clear uh, it. The Ford Ranger, use... okay, uh, I think the Ford Ranger for the front of the Ford Ranger is yeah. 2.5 meters. Okay. So yeah. The owner of that uh, land, sir, is also the classmate of the police officer. The owner of this lot. Oh, okay. This one and that one. And this one, the owner of the lot, 1,000 square meter is a doctor. So there's another, it's a, just, right a, just a lot that's back there? Right. Building lot? I can see the... Okay, we're inside. Mahogany beams. Could use a little cleaning, but it's got ceramic tile throughout. Bathroom, the bathroom needs finishing. But the two bedrooms, uh, there's the smaller one. And the... Uh, and here's the master and not a bad size let's say we're going to have to knock off uh, 500,000 for the uh, cleaning job we're going to have to do in here we have a stubbed out for a second floor I hear tell wow penguin living at its best here Okay, so we are back at the cheapest house on Peng Lao Island here the day after we have finally closed on the sale of it. And uh, so we're here to start cleaning it up. Uh, so let me turn this around. Okay, well, let me start from this. Let me start from the start here. Okay, here it is. It has not been inhabited in quite some time, but it is less than 10 years old and it is quite solid, basically. Now it needs a ceiling put in here and we just got an estimate for a new roof. It could be repaired, but it's, uh, it's not a nice roof. We're going to have a colored roof put on. And so we're going to sweep this place out. We're going to get an electrician out here and uh, and stub it out for some uh, split aircon units. Uh, two or three of them. One out here and then one in each bedroom, uh, I suppose. And so uh, it is quite a nice size lot. It's 500 square meters. 
Uh, let's see if I can show where it ends down on this side here. Well, I'll go back there and, uh, and get a view of it from back there. But the first thing I have to do is hack my way in here to get my truck in and get serious about this thing. Okay, I'm uh, hacking my way in to the new house here for the first time. It's okay. hung up on a palm tree stump back there, but other than that, looking good. Well, okay. All right. All right, we've been working here for about an hour so far, and uh, getting the place cleaned up is... Uh, as good as can be uh, there's no water or power here it's a saturday we're gonna have to wait till monday uh, to get that turned on but we've got uh, an electrician uh coming out shortly and the roofer is uh coming back to finalize his deal once and the uh the roofer is also giving us an estimate to put the ceiling in here so Oh, we've got this pretty well swept out. Uh, I guess that the previous owner uh, wants this cabinet here. Now, it looks like uh, these uh, kitchen cabinets are uh, pretty shot. We'll see if anything can be salvaged out of that. Uh, but we've been working in the, in the master here. And we've got it uh, looking pretty good. Still got some stuff of his over there. And then in the second bedroom, we got a bunch more stuff. I'm sweeping this out right now. And then uh, I haven't even been in here yet in the bathroom. Uh, it's pretty rough in there. I mean, it's basically, we're gonna have to start from the beginning on that. Uh, but we got a Pyromaniac is at work back here with a burn pile. No. So we'll check back in a bit. Banana? banana? Yeah, you. <laughs> yeah, we got enough bananas. I like bananas. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do with all these bananas. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Uh, I don't even see how anything can it's grow here. It's just, <laughs> it's just nothing but this craggle here. <laughs> Somehow those bananas grow. This, this lady here, I've never seen her eat a banana, but her, her dad sells bananas, and she's she knows how to handle bananas. Those are the kind that you cook? No, this is a cook. Oh, you just that's let them get ripe, huh? Okay. Yeah, well, at, at some point I anticipate that I won't be buying any more bananas for a while. All right, we're, over, we're at the back of the property here again. Uh, I'm going to search party out for this uh, property marker here. It's farther back the good news is the property is uh, kind of bigger than I thought it's bigger at the front we found the uh, well everybody knew everybody else knew where that one was but it's uh, it's bigger in the front than I thought and it's even bigger back here and so we're looking farther back than we did before and we'll see what happens somebody says she found it Wow awesome okay so the case, the case is closed. It's all the way back here. Wow, this is, this is amazing. Where this is. Wow. Wow. It's, it's like uh, the lot. There's like it's like two houses. You could put two houses on this lot, honey. You just have to blast the land level. Wow, that's, that's pretty cool. All right, so that mystery is solved, and we're looking good. I hear that there's a giant lizard over here. Okay, Mr. 
Mr. Giant Lizard. There he is. Whoa, where? From Mr. Lizard, you're so big. Oh, you're a big bad lizard. Oof, there he goes. All right, so we're in the middle of the second day here uh, at the cheapest house on Panglao Island, and I will explain that to you. The uh, asking price, as you saw from the real estate agent, was 2.5 million pesos, and we ended up paying. Uh, 2.25, uh, 2, 2,250,000 uh, pesos for it. And I'll flash uh, what that is in, in dollars at the rate that, uh, that I converted a couple days ago. Uh, but anyways, uh, I don't know exactly what the square footage or square meters of it is here. It's a pretty uh, typical house, but it's, uh, uh, I think I said uh, before, it's, uh, it's less than 10 years old and it's, uh, it's, really, uh, it's really a well-built house. Uh, what it needs primarily is a roof. Uh, we did get an estimate on doing a, a colored roof. Uh, we're gonna make a blue roof. Uh, the roof and the gutters and the fascia come out to be about $2,500. And then uh, they are uh, gonna give me an estimate for the, uh, for the soffit uh, shortly here. And then uh, we have to have uh, uh, split air conditioning units put in here. We're either gonna put uh, Two of them, one big one in the main room here, and then uh, uh, one in the master uh, bedroom here, uh, <clears throat> up above the windows there somewhere. Uh, we have to go order those. And I may or may not, depending upon the price of uh, two of them, uh, put a little one here in the, uh, in the second bedroom. And then uh, I got a guy that's, uh, working up an estimate for, uh, for finishing the bathroom here. Uh, it's, uh, it's just a spare bathroom that you get here. Uh, but, uh, you know, labor is very cheap here, so uh, I just got to pay for materials, and uh, I'm very happy with, uh, uh, with what uh, people have been working uh, for here to, uh, to help me out. Uh, so anyways, uh, let me tell you a little bit about where we're at here. Uh, we are on the north side of the island of Panglao, and the nearest uh, major landmark is Momo Beach. Uh, that's just a little bit to the west here. And uh, as far as I can tell, I haven't, uh, I haven't gone from, from here to see exactly how far it is to the water, but it's as near as I can figure, it's about a half a mile. Uh, I don't know what kind of access you have down there. Uh, it's not a beach. It's going to be uh, kind of a rocky shore, but uh, from what I've seen, uh, I'm going to include a video here of uh, the first house that we looked at. Uh, it's going to be a similar shore, I assume, because that is uh, it's close to where that was. And it's, uh, it's kind of a nice uh, snorkeling and diving uh, area, the drop-off. Uh, the drop-off is very close to the shore, so I'm looking forward to, to going down there. But like I said, it's, I don't think it's much more than a, than a half a mile uh, from here. Uh, now, the other thing is that uh, you might be wondering is that, uh, you know, uh, the only people that can buy property here in the, in the Philippines are the, uh, are the Filipinos, of course. And so, you know, the place is, is going to be in my girlfriend, uh, Jovi's name. Uh, she's from Bahal, and uh, and so uh, what we did here is the 2.25 million that I put into the place is uh, is a 25 year prepaid lease basically. So she can't sell it without me, you know, retiring the lease or whatever, and and that. So uh, I've got uh, uh, that kind of legality involved in it, but that's. Pretty much the only way that you can do it is uh, is is buy it with your own money if you're a foreigner, and then uh, and then do some sort of a long-term uh, lease arrangement uh, with it. So um, with that, uh, we'll uh, we'll see where we go from here. Mike, listen, we already completely cleaned the floor. Okay, so you don't need to sweep it. Is there anything else that you can do? Like what? Well, you could clean the windows. 
I don't do windows. <laughs>